Hello everyone. Welcome back to Talking Bread. So glad that you joined us today. Once again, Happy New Year. <laughs> I am glad to be starting off this year once again with Dr. Harold. I think we got this ritual or tradition now where we start the year off talking some great together um, as siblings. So he's been on the show a few times. Um, you probably know him, but maybe you don't. But a lot has happened in his life uh, since we last spoke to him. So Dr. S. Hero Harrell, why don't you introduce yourself, tell us who you are and what you do. Well, thank you. I am Dr. S. Hero Harrell, and I'm an educator, artist, and entrepreneur. My most uh, recent venture has been um, to the area of education, where I'm uh, working to solve some of the issues that the pandemic has brought in the realm of education, and that's Sovereign University, um, where I work with parents to, um, you know, craft custom educational curriculums for their children. Uh, we also have a homeschooling cooperative which is ran right here out of my house. Nice. Okay. Yeah. So, um, sorry, University, we gonna get into that, but first let's talk about your journey to getting there. So, um, the pandemic has been rough on all of us in mm -hmm. one way or another. A lot of people lost jobs, lost homes. Um, I mean, the whole shebang of uh, people. And um, so, what made you walk away from your job? Like, what was your motivation behind that? Is that something that you kind of had planned or uh, was it something that just kind of fell in your lap at the right time? Uh, a little bit of both. It is something that I had planned, but it wasn't for necessarily 2020. Mm -hmm. um, I was thinking maybe, you know, a few years um, to go still before I would be able to make the jump, but I had already had a plan of homeschooling my children and, you know, pretty much creating a homeschooling cooperative to, you know, roll it out um, to the degree of, you know, actual school. And, um, but the pandemic did just kind of produce the, you know, perfect mix of chaos for, the, for this to be, you know, um, an opportune time to make that jump and uh, leave my full-time job and, you know, commit my time and energy to my children, to my family, to my community, and uh, ultimately to, you know, um, ventures that I believe in. And uh, education, um, curriculums, format, um, and practices that I believe are relevant to our children in this post-Trump, post-COVID <laughs> You know, yeah. Error. Yeah, and um, also I do want to mention. So, in the in light of the pandemic happening, like your your kids were in school, and uh, they after the pandemic hit, they did start off virtual learning. Right. So, um, was it that you saw a disconnect? with them when they were doing virtual learning? Um, was that a little bit of the push behind it uh, to kind of make Sovereign University come to life in 2020? Uh, well, there definitely was a disconnect with the virtual learning um, once kind of everyone was thrown into it. And that's, I wouldn't just um, say that true for their, my children's school, but for all schools, all teachers and all students that were um, you know, enrolled or teaching or taking classes in March of 2020. So I believe it kind of um, threw every, everyone's routine off. But in my opinion, it, it was kind of the disrupt is needed in education to make us begin to reevaluate the system as a whole and, you know, our options uh, for educating our children, even options for educating ourselves as adults. Um, it's just kind of a new era. We live in an information age and things right. change and move faster every day, but yet K through 12 higher education is like the most stagnant industry, you know, within our culture, things don't change. It's built off of tradition. Yeah. 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 Ye
traditionalism and doing things the same way and you know the same formats as far as lecturing and you know test taking and i don't know i think that those models and modes of education aren't serving us well yeah okay so that brings me into my next question how do you feel um that well not that. Not that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna go there. Give let's talk about sovereign university. So can you give us first the mission statement? Um, the mission statement. So um, the as far as okay, so you're probably talking about the motto that the scholars say every day. Mm -hmm. And so it is um, I am a sovereign scholar. I understand that sovereignty begins with freedom of thought. Um I will allow no external forces to control my thoughts. My search for knowledge, wisdom, and understanding begins internally. Um, I understand that I have the entire I have the entire knowledge of the universe within my DNA. Um, I create my own reality. I'm Wonderful. Ready to go so long. I haven't said it in a few weeks. We, we've been off of school for the winter break, so I'm not yeah. saying it every day. Yeah, well, that's why I got the acting gene and you didn't, because I remember my lines now. Oh, that was good. <laughs> good now, the kids say this every day, like every the Pledge day. of Allegiance, right? Just like the Pledge of Allegiance, but 100% mm -hmm. more relevant and empowering and affirming. Right. So, yeah, it's much more relevant yeah. to uh, children of this day and age. Um, so walk us through a typical day at Sovereign University because you have ages from all age ranges. I like know. We range from, right now we have in the homeschooling cooperative, um, kindergarten all the way through ninth grade. And so when you say a typical day um, with that stretch and range of students, it is no typical day. And it's designed to where um, days aren't typical because typical days aren't necessarily the best teachers. So we try to um, stay active, um, collaboration, group work, uh, independent time. We don't do, we don't have lectures, we have discussions. Um, the scholars really control the flow of discussions and you know, the things that they learn, they play a huge part in designing and crafting the entire experience. And so, um, I mean, it's a wide, um, a wide range of activities from, okay, um, talking about the um, solar system and ending the week with making a model of, you know, the Milky Way. Um, yes. You know, a 3D model or mm -hmm. you know taking a um, nature walk and maybe using some things that we find to create or, or to help us learn more about our environment and those type of things so and it's so cool to see footage of that like i love that you constantly uh post what the kids are learning i mean it looks so much fun mm -hmm. like i want to come to school with you now i wish you could have been my teacher yeah, I was your teacher, but it's cool. <laughs> you was kind of my teacher. <laughs> and I mean, it is fun. And yeah. um, I mean, it's fun, but um, it's not fun or, you know, educational. Mm -hmm. It's fun and educational at the same time. And I think that's a, a big point in the piece that, um, in general, I would say, you know, our society misses about education is that, right. you know, it, it needs to be relevant and appealing. Everything that we come in contact with, any messages, um, they're marketed to us from right. what we wear to, you know, what we eat and everything. And then education is just kind of thrown in this box as this is something you got to do, you know, to if make you, it in the world. You, yeah, to make it in the world, but it's not presented to be appealing relevant and that idea just making it in the world i feel um gets lost on you know people i would say of my generation and younger because we looking for 
what's relevant to us mm -hmm. and you know what, what we can appreciate and so i don't think that education is a means to you know buy or earn a receipt so that you can apply and get a specific job um i think it's more so the the intention behind education should be crafting experiences um to inspire critical thinking and also uh, put you on your path to be your best self and you know get the best use of your talents and so many people get through the um, k through 12 school system and still don't even really know themselves or, right. or you know understand function. what they what they're good at or you know how to use those talents mm -hmm. to make money and take care of themselves exactly yeah. exactly um i want to ask you about uh because i know that you have different um parts of the day where there is a uh, physical activity there is french mm -hmm. so a lot of those are because the parents are getting involved yeah. now as a parent and a teacher in the in your school mm -hmm. how important do you feel and this goes for anyone for um parents to be involved in their child's learning um i mean i think it's important and is it really can be the ultimate you know deciding factor in you know the success of a child's education mm -hmm. um i mean i think it should be the duty and honor of a parent to you know be in the uh, position to participate in their children's education and you know we i think i think it's a big part of just like our value system you know we right. we put time and money into things that we value and so um i mean i feel like what's more valuable than our children's education um you know i can make it to me okay yeah. yes that's cool um so your school is in your home how do you handle going from being teacher to dad at the end of the day like how do you separate the two and how do your children react? We are we actually got one of the kids in here. He walking behind the camera like we don't see him. I would there bring him on. Um, my but, no. but no. <laughs> He's our camera guy. We'll keep it that way. Okay. Um, so yeah, how do you handle going from being Mr. Harold to Dad? Um, well, I mean, I think the, de the design of the physical space in here, you know, every day, um, you know, we have class in the dining room. Um, and at the end of the school day, you know, around two or three o'clock or so, we turn the classroom back into the dining room. And, and don't forget to mention that there are dead. If y'all are not watching this yeah. and you are listening in, listening in on it instead, we in the desk right now. Yeah, we in the desk. And I hope I'm, I can get out when this is over. Until you are. <laughs> so, um, I mean, I think kind of changing that physical space um, to the point where, okay, between these hours, this space is going to be set up like this. So it keeps us in this mode of, you know, kind of education. Um, mm -hmm. Having the other students come in for that set amount of time, it's like we pretty much know what we're here to do between these hours and I mean they have fun and they gonna squeeze in every inch of fun that they can have yeah. but um you know it's just kind of that much more important to you know make the most of our time and so that's why collaboration is important um and you know things like that also I kind of I feel like um I feel like we kind of constantly educating and so it it it's really I don't feel like necessarily for my children it was that much of an adjustment i mean we made it a little more formalized because we had other people joining us and we had desks and you know workbooks and specific times that we do things you know on a whiteboard but i mean we kind of always are finding opportunities to learn yeah. you know and um you know kind of the universe is our school it's, i mean it's always constant you know things that we learn and or you know trying to figure out of testing hypothesis, you know, just simple things like around the house. And so, uh, you know, they, they ask a lot of questions. And so, I mean, our life is pretty much designed to where education is built into it. And, you know, those are some of the things that I 
uh, work with parents and, you know, looking to work with additional parents um, to kind of figure out how to make those things work. That, um, you know, it can be uh, simple, you know, very relevant, applicable, little small changes that you can, you know, make throughout the day or things that you can design into your life while you're already living it that yeah. can do wonders to support the educational efforts of your scholars. Okay. Okay, so um, you have 10 kids. I had 10 scholars. 10 scholars. Yeah, these not just kids. These not just kids. They we, taking French. Yeah, scholars, right. They smarter than me. Yeah, they smarter. Real, I might need a tutor later to come back down here and hire me a tutor later in the year. Um, so what is the future? for Sovereign University going forward as we move into 2021? Or will you be accepting new students? Will you be expanding? What's gonna happen? Um, I am looking to expand. I'm looking to work with and serve um, as many different families as I can. Um, mm -hmm. I, I really think that this um, kind of model that we've worked out is something something that um, you know we can add to ours with maybe you know more students, um, and it's also a model that can be replicated with another group of four or five families in you know a city anywhere in the nation really. So mm -hmm. um, that's really really my goal is to kind of work with um, more parents who are kind of thinking around the same lines and, you know, kind of viewing education and really just committed to um, independent education solutions. And it's not just school, you know, it's education solutions. And I mean, for it to be solutions oriented, I really think we have to, you know, kind of as parents take control of it and take the lead uh, because we can't really expect anyone in the world, whether we pay them, whether they credentials or they have a, you know, greater stake in our children's education than us. Exactly. You know, and that's whether you were educator or not, you know, mm -hmm. it's, if, you know, if you're not an educator, then maybe you want to try to find that link up with, you know, some other families who um, maybe people um, do educate. But really with this model of the independent education, most of the parents and families that adopt this model, it's um, people who I would say are like um, gig workers, or um, independent contractors or small business owners. So they already kind of thinking in an independent manner. And, um, you know, all of our, like, kind of like what you alluded to, if you get a group of five families, you know what I'm saying, you're gonna find someone who may be an educator, you know, um, someone who um, might teach a foreign language, um, mm -hmm. someone who is, um, you know, a, fitness instructors and yeah, yeah. ours it just kind of blended just like that to where you know myself as a lead educator we have someone that teaches French and we have another parent that does physical education and so that those were the subject matter experts that we had in our collective so that's what we're teaching our children so there may be another family um, that has maybe a medical doctor or you know an attorney and you know school teacher and right. they craft their independent education solutions based off the subject matter experts that they have in their group. Okay. Yeah. I love that. I love that you bring your community in because it truly does take a village. Mm -hmm. And I think that you um, constantly prove that um, through your curriculum, through um, your way of going about Sovereign University. And uh, I love it. Congrats. And I can't see what else you do with it. Um, so there may be some people listening that got a couple dollars <laughs> that might want to help you out. You know what I'm saying? We appreciate that. So, <laughs> so um, tell us, Dr. Harold, how can we help you? Um, you can help us by visiting, and this is new, SovereignUNIV.com. And you can get information and, you know, um, there's a subscribe and donate button. Um, also, we accept funds via cash app, um, dollar sign, Sovereign University. And um, a lot of people always ask, so Sovereign is S-O-V-E-R-E-I. -E 
I G N University, U N I V E R S I T Y. Okay. All right. I'm going to put that at the bottom of the screen. So, <laughs> like right here. Okay. We're going to put that at the bottom of the screen so y'all ain't got to rush with your pen and paper. Or maybe you do if you are listening. And if you listen on your phone, just click over the cash app. <laughs> And put it in Sovereign <laughs> University. Right. And, you know what I'm saying? Just you can't do two things at once. You I know, you're I know on the phone. Y'all on the phone. And I know you, you might be listening to this on the flip phone. 30 windows open already if you're anything <laughs> like me. So right. Cash App is probably already open. And Just by the way, that close them tabs. Yeah, because it's running up your battery. Mm -hmm. That's why you want 1% now driving, trying to listen to a podcast. Listen to it when you get home and you're next to your charger in the bed. And you know when you charge your phone and it's finally on a good enough charge so you can turn over, that's when you can turn this back on. But don't talk while the phone is on the charger because I think they will explode <laughs> in, you know, right. yeah, when them see low moments. Oh, no. Oh, man. Oh, this sounds horrific. Why do we have to go back to see low, Lord? All right. So uh, we are going to play a quick game. Okay. Called Finish This Sentence. <laughs> got the clappers in the background. In a minute, the clappers. The, the clappers. Filmed in front of a live studio audience. Yes, this is filmed in front of a live studio audience. And in a minute, I'm going to have the audience come on screen. That's okay. He'll have his day on the mic. So, Dr. Harrell, you know this game. You haven't played it before, but you've seen this game be played out. I've seen it. I've seen how it goes. Okay. So, you also have a company called Old School Loop. I do. Okay. All right. Vintage clothing. Vintage right. clothing. We go, oh, tell them where they can follow Old School Roots and how they can get um, some of that. On IG or Facebook at Old School Rules, um, Old School Rules dot com. Um, and that's rules with a Z. Thank you. With a Z. <laughs> rules. Z -z 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 -z. <laughs> okay. Old School Rules. So, you can't sell these vintage clothing right. pieces without being a little bit old school. Because right. then that's false advertising. And it's man. definitely not false advertising. Okay. So we're going to take it to the old school. All right. All right. I'm going to start with the newer old school first. What? Wait a minute. It's tricky already. <laughs> You're going to start with the newer I'm old here. school that's first? What, yes. All I right. am here to trick you. All right. Now, if you get it wrong, you don't hear it. <laughs> okay. All right. So you don't want to hear that. So I think you got like, let's see, do I want to time you? I can do six seconds. All right, that's good. To get it right. If you get them right, you get the crown. Okay? All right. Okay. This is from Pastor Bootsy. <laughs> and not Bootsy Collins either, the other one. Do what you do, but watch my shoes. Okay. Finish this sentence. If you think you're lonely now and you have to sing it. Wait until tonight, girl. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> All right, last one. All right. You know this one. Let's see. It's cheaper to keep it. Yes! <laughs> Put my crown on. Thank you. Ding! Oh. <laughs> well, thank you all for tuning in to another episode of Talking Brit. I hope you're having. A happy new year thus far. We are only a few days in, but I know that great things are coming. It's got to be. 2020 was trash, so it's got to be good. You know, we got to yeah. glow up from here. Right. 2021. <laughs> 20 garbage. Right. Somebody said that 2020 went home, put a wig on, came and back came back as 2021. 2020. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, watch your back. But still, stay hopeful. Watch your front, too. Watch your front, too. And watch your sides. Give us the any other places that we can find you real quick and connect with you. Um, 
real life. Real life. Wherever I am. That's okay. That's primary. Anywhere else on IG that we can find you? Yeah, on Cyberspace on IG at the hero brand, the underscore hero underscore brand. Um also on IG at old school rules and um Facebook the hero brand and also old school rules or the uh, company pages on there. Okay. Awesome. Well, guys, thank you for tuning in. I hope you have a good night, evening, morning, whatever time it is that you're listening. We'll see you next time. Bye. No <laughs> time. <laughs>